But ultimately, it all comes down to this. After 233 extra place races targeted, or more specifically extra places targeted, let's find out exactly how much profit I've earned from doing this. So in this video, I thought I would share with you my routine and my extra place strategy and see if I'm able to pull out a profit from all the different bookmakers when running this strategy. So as many of you might know, I've made quite a lot of money over the last few years from match betting and a large chunk of it and a large portion of that cash has come as a result of using this guy right here on OddsMonkey, the extra place matcher. If you want to check out OddsMonkey for free and have a go at running your own value each way strategy, my link, my free trial link is down below in the description. Now full disclosure, I haven't actually run my each way extra places strategy for quite a little while now as I've been quite heavily focused on developing my trading strategies over on Betfair and over on the exchange. Okay, so if we have a look at this piece of software right here, the extra place matcher. The obvious question to ask yourself when you first start looking into doing a strategy like this is where exactly do you start? Logically, all that we can say looking at this objectively is that a match like this, a 97% match, is almost certainly gonna make money over the long term, whereas a match like this, an 80% match just below, is likely to lose money over the long term. Now to work out the expected value, that is very, very complicated to do, and I won't bore you, but ultimately it involves working out the horse's chance or the odds that it has of finishing in the extra place position. And then once you've got that, you can slowly start to derive the EV. But what I did is the next best thing, and it's helped me pull out a profit month after month when I've run this form of each way value betting strategy in the past. I collected lots of data on many different horse races, thousands of different horse races. Ultimately that data shows me what percentage match is positive or almost certainly positive under different circumstances within different kinds of horse races. So I do think it's important to say that that's what I base my each way selections on. That is what I base my extra place selections on. I don't just make up some random arbitrary rule which doesn't really make any sense from a mathematical perspective and go, yep, that's positive or no, that's negative. Because obviously if you're just doing that and you're just making up an arbitrary rule, Best case scenario, you, you might make a small profit, but you'll heavily limit yourself. Worst case scenario, and a scenario that a lot of people find themselves in, is they just end up costing themselves money and find that they're in a losing strategy. So anyway, we're not gonna waste any more time and I'm gonna get on my first extra place. So I've got on the win in each way with this runner right here. I'm now gonna lay the win and the place both on markets. And so it begins, that's the first extra place that I've got on. So that race is now concluded. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this website right here and this is gonna let me in on the results of the race. And as you can see, this is actually a winner. So the horse that I was getting on actually landed within the extra place that I wanted it to. So obviously it's a good start to the strategy. It's the first extra place and the first profit, but it's way too early to get carried away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly jump onto extra place race number two. So this time I'm gonna be going after this runner right here as it's a value match based on all the information that I've collected. So the same premise again, I've backed the win and the each way with the bookmaker. I'm now laying off the win and I'm laying off the place and I'm hoping to hit the nice big profit if the horse lands within the extra place. Now quite often when I'm using this strategy, I'm staking in accordance with the opportunity. So if the opportunity is really big, I'll stake large. And if the opportunity isn't quite as big, I'll normally stake not quite as large to mitigate my downside if I don't hit the extra place and obviously maximize my upside when I have the advantage. So that race has just finished a few minutes ago and I've jumped over to this website right here and hopefully this site is going to give me the result that I want, that being my runner landing in the extra place. So as you can see, the runner that I got on unfortunately ended up winning the race, which obviously sounds a little bit counterintuitive to anyone who comes from a recreational uh, background. We wanted the runner to land in the extra place position. That didn't occur, so I'm going to take a qualifying loss on this runner. And that's obviously one win and one loss. Now typically the pattern with this type of strategy is it's low strike rate, so you lose very often and you win infrequently. But if you're doing this correctly and you have an edge over the bookmakers, when you do win, it will wipe out all those small little losses you've taken along the way. And it'll leave you with a nice chunk of change left over on top of it. And that will continue over and over again until you decide to stop running your strategy. So I start to work my way through lots of different extra places across many different races. Now, to be honest, running an extra place strategy like this isn't the most exciting thing in the world. It's all about consistency and targeting long-term value matches. Doing that generally provides a nice profit over the weeks and months of running this strategy. But I have to say, it hasn't been looking good at all to start with, as I've lost on race after race after race. And as a result, I've been taking a small qualifying loss each time in relation to the stakes that I'm using. Okay, guys, so I've got on about 34 value extra place each way matches 
And disregarding the first match that I got on, which obviously was a winner, since that time I've actually had no further winners, so I've lost on every other extra place and none of the horses that I've got on have landed in the extra place position. So obviously I'm at a loss and I'm actually at a pretty significant loss because of the stakes I've been using predominantly and that is roughly about 110 to 115 pounds. So not ideal, not the best start for this video and the best start for running this strategy obviously, but the common sense part of my but my brain tells me that there's just natural variability within within the way in which the odds work and the way in which probability works and hopefully that will probably just turn around as I get further into the future and get on more extra places and get more samples within my data but there's only one way to find out for sure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on some more extra places and hopefully this starts to turn around and doesn't get too painful. So continuing where I left off, it's more of the same, targeting long-term value each way matches that on average will provide more profits in the amount of time it will take for them to hit in relation to the losses it will cost waiting for that EP to hit. So again, the negative patch continues to occur as I continue to lose small amounts as my horses don't seem to want to land within the bookmaker's extra place position. Now this, of course, is painful and a lot of the time you just have to put your emotional part of your brain aside, trust in what you're doing and trust that you have an edge over the book makers okay guys so after getting on about 54 extra places i finally started to hit a few winners and make a few profits now because i've gone on such a big massive downswing i'm actually still negative in profit by maybe 20 or 30 quid or something like that but i'm hoping this is now going to turn around hopefully the downswing's over and hopefully my profit will slowly start to head up in the other direction. So I continue plowing my way through value each way matches targeting the bookmaker's extra place promotion. Now as I anticipated, the downswing and the bad spell of variance slowly but surely is starting to turn around as I start to accumulate more and more wins. Now when you're running a strategy like this correctly, each win that you accumulate will wipe out a huge chunk of your qualifying losses and you will find that this is a typical pattern you'll find within your profit and loss. All right, guys, I'm pleased to say that that variance, that downswing I was having at the start of this video looks to have finally, finally dried up and I'm now really starting to smash in these extra places and I'm in a decent profit. Now, if you're interested in learning exactly what my strategy is and what I'm looking for with these extra places, you know, so what percentage matches are positive, what percentage matches are negative, what's going to make money over the long term, I've just set up a Patreon page, which I'll leave the link to down below in the description of this video where I basically have consolidated everything I've, I know and I've learned about extra places in this strategy over the few years that I've been doing it. Along with that, you can also follow along with my bet for trading career and you can look at some of the trades that are making me a profit, some of the trades that I'm cutting out for a loss on, a detailed overview of how I'm trading and what, what exactly I'm doing over on Betfair. And if you want some match betting spreadsheets and low-risk casino spreadsheets, I've also got them available on my Patreon page as well. So I'll leave the link down below in the description if you do want to check it out and see if it's for you. But anyway, I think I'm just going to get on a few more of these extra places. So let's bring it to a close. Let's get on a few more EPs and let's see if we can end this strategy with a bang. So getting on some final extra places to wrap up this strategy, the same pattern of lots of small losses and the occasional large win continues to occur. And as a result, my profit slowly starts to diminish for a little while. Then I land an extra place, which gives me all the profit I lost back, plus a nice little bit of extra profit on top of it. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm getting a little bit bored, a little bit tired of doing these. But ultimately, it all comes down to this. After 233 extra place races targeted, or more specifically, extra places targeted, let's find out exactly how much profit I've earned from doing this. Wow, not too bad. I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. So my overall profit from running this strategy is £724.78. I had 206 losers and I had 27 winners. And my strike rate between the two is just over 13%. And all that has left me with a nice profit. Now granted, I would have probably had a few hundred quid more if I didn't go on that downswing at the start of this video. But ultimately, who cares? You know, profit is a profit. I've done my very best that I could. But next up, you should check out this video I've popped up on screen. And that will show you four sneaky hacks you can apply when you're doing your extra places, which will hopefully make you more money from your EPs.